Hello. It has been a while. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> I do like the opening theme to this. It's quite good. I do, I do like it. Um, we'll be continuing on. Actually, I might not want to be pressing the continue button there. I'm just trying to think. When did I last play this? Was the last time I played this as the original character I did my YouTube campaign? That's because I have a feeling it wasn't. Now that I think about it. No, it was a different character. Right. One moment. Uh, go. Right. Not continue. I believe that character was a... I think it was one that my... One of my nephews created. And went on. <laughs> Briefly. As you can see, the other one, <laughs> the other, my, my main character's got a few city miles on them, as you can probably tell. Um, didn't do any co-op or uh, multiplayer or anything. Those are all, those levels are all natural from the campaign and everything. New features can be enabled in the display tab within the system menu. Items obtained for the first time can be marked with an exclamation mark. A dedicated tab has been created to view the items obtained most recently. Right. Can I even remember what the buttons are in this? And apparently there's some new stuff to enable in the system menu for... Uh, the UI, um, somewhere, something. I wonder if I can actually play this with like higher settings enabled without it breaking my PC now, because there's been a number of graphics updates and uh, driver updates I've undergone since then, so I might test that out at some point. For now, let me remember, because today, today, we are going to be going to a new zone. Right, so let's see. Show underground. And I believe... So to get to the new DLC, which we'll be looking at today, we have to go here. So, let's see what it's all about. So it's been a full, I think a year and a bit since the actual release of Elden Ring. And I remember this is where we fought, I think it was Margit's brother or something, who called himself like the Lord of Blood, and the person we have to talk to is apparently up there. Before I do that, I'm just going to quickly try and <laughs> remember what the buttons are. Hmm. I'll admit, I have forgotten the attack button. <laughs> I like pressing R1, R2, oh my god, I might need to go to the uh, tutorial zone for a moment. Hang on. Why can I not do... Is this like an area where I'm not allowed to use weapons or something? Now that's crouch. That's roll. I'm sure it's like R1 and R2 to use weapons. I'm sure it is. There we go. Right. And sorry if you've noticed a few pauses. Literally the moment I've sat down to record, suddenly everyone wants me. Right. So I have to be outside of this area. So that's what was doing it. I think I vaguely remember now what what this is. Okay, so I, I think I remember all all this right. So L1 blocks, 
and if I remember correctly, I block 100% of damage and have a bajillion stamina and things, so... And my health bar is nearly halfway across the screen, so... We are a... basically we're a paladin build. And if I remember correctly, I can press L2, and if I time that correct, so that's instead of like a parry, if I time that correctly, it will actually reflect spells back at enemies. If I do this, I've got light attacks, heavy attacks, and if I remember correctly... How do I just two-hand my weapon now? Well, I've remembered how to keep using health flasks. That's actually a good point as well. So down swaps between those, doesn't it? Swaps between... Yep, yep, I'm remembering. <laughs> okay. How does one sprint? That's the next question. Hold down the B button. Gotcha. Right. Without further ado, let's get the DLC Hi. off to a good off to a start. I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by faith along his honourable path. Touch the withered arm. And you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Touch the arm. Secret passage ahead and then something incredible. First off, rushing in. Don't give up, Sage. Head to the Realm of Shadow. And away we go. So if you're new to the channel, if you've started watching since I did the Elden Ring, uh, Elden Run, Elden Ring Run, the playthrough, so I'll catch you up, uh, unless you want to go back and watch for 100 plus episodes. Do so now if you want to, you know, feel free. But general gist is we were looking like we were going to get... Oh, wow. Why well, don't we just take a moment to take all this in? <laughs> so... We were looking to... Oh, and that looks like a first boss. If I ever saw one over there. Big fiery thing with arms and legs. So, we were looking like we were going to get the... Um, what was her name? The witch. I think like... Renny or Renny or something. Oh my god, I've completely... It has been a year now. We were going to get the ending with... Uh, the four-armed witch last that you meet at the start. We'd done all the requisite bits to get there, but then I didn't notice a path that went off to the side at one part. Like, you have to, like, go through this whole thing where you keep jumping in these coffins to go further and further, deeper down. And I think I missed one and didn't realise it. I was just like, oh, I guess we'll just hand this quest back into her and go talk to her and was very confused by it. But the time I realised my mistake, I'd just gone and I'd beaten the game. I didn't realise that I'd not met the requirements to get that ending. Because I'd not been looking it up to avoid spoils and things. So we ended up getting the regular ending. Uh, the round hole table is on fire. And, yeah. Just kind of the normal ending. Well, like the rule of uh, all of the Elden... Uh, what would they even call it? What's the world I've come... The lands in between, I think, isn't it? 
You can tell it's you can tell it's been a year. My memory is fuzzy on all the law and everything. <laughs> Pastime, level up, flasks, shadow realm, blessing. Um, what is our current physic anyway? Let's have a look. Negates damage and boosts all damage negation. Basically, we are we can drink our mixed physic and just become essentially impossible to kill. Um, right, I think that's where you can like alt things to like have the hoods up and cloaks on and things, isn't it? We've got great runes. We've just got raises all attributes. We could do restore HP on defeating enemies, raise max HP, FP, and stamina, or greatly raise maximum HP. And what else have we got? Scold. So this is, I think, new stuff, this. Consume Scoldu Tree... F Skadu Tree? Skadu Tree Fragments? To bolster your Skadu Tree Blessing. The Skadu Tree... I'm probably butchering the pronunciation on this. The Blessing bolsters the, re the recipient's abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of Shadow. Don't have any. Okay. Revered Spirit Ash. It bolsters summon spirits and spectral steeds' abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of shadow. And we don't have those. Right. <clears throat> and if we look at our stats, just again to give you a bit of a run down what we've got yeah we have a bajillion vigor we've got 50 vigor 50 endurance and strengths at 40 our faith is at 40 as well very much a paladin build if you don't remember and if i remember correctly yeah we've got on our spells we have lord's divine fortification blessing of the erd tree bestial vitality golden vow black flames protection Heal, Giant's Flame, Take Thee, and Ag Heal's Flame. Basically, we're like a, pal uh, a pyromantic paladin of sorts. Have a look at this guy then. Okay, there's an opening. Ow. Ow. I had to use an entire flask to stop you. You get radar fruit. Okay. Red flesh mushrooms. Hmm. Is that a map? I think it might be. And that definitely looks like if I touch it, it'll summon a boss. Like nothing has screamed boss to me more than that. For a long while. <laughs> oh, and I keep crouching instead of sprinting. There's the button. And there's a random ghost. Let's see what we've got. Gravesite Plane. Looks like there's a few castles to conquer here. Everyone burnt cinders, burned away. Put to the torch by Mesmer. 
and his lot. What did we do to deserve such a fate? We merely lived our lives. We lived in peace. Who are these then? Shields up. I come in peace. Who are you? Okay then. <laughs> oh, I forget. I think we like heal off kills. Because my health's going back up. Ah. Surely this is some kind of... Maybe it's just setting the mood. So I guess this being the Shadow Realm, it's like the evil Erd tree. Which casts shadow instead of light everywhere. It literally, look, looks literally like there's veils of like... Like, yeah, like silky veils coming off of it, going across the sky, doesn't it? It's a bit... Odd. Broken room. Now, if I remember correctly. How do I summon... No. I'm trying to remember how I summon... Well, summon. So what I do remember is that little icon on the left means I can summon something. Now... Not ready. Hmm. Oh, they're not going to try and kill me. Okay. Right. Ooh, some sort of ghost wolf over there. There's an item up here. Ow. Lie overhead. Nope, nothing ahead. The door is shut. This looks ominous. Seek key and then give up. Shadow Realm Rune. Right.
Yeah, that must be the first boss then over there. Let's see if we can figure out what he is like before the end of this episode, shall we? Black pyre fl flies. Okay. Comfort ahead. Something incredible ahead. No horse. Don't teleport me somewhere else. Blade of Mercy. Ah! I remember, I've just remembered the buttons. I remember, yeah. On controller, if you hold down the Y button, there you go, you can see all my summons. Aha! Got there in the end. Right, now I need to get... What was that item that was up here? spied it from below but the question is where it is now where is it I think if we go here maybe there it is over there ooh It were mushrooms. It were mushrooms all along. And I've accidentally drunk something. God damn it. <laughs> I know why all that is. I've been playing um, Stellar Blade. Where it's, it uses square and triangle as the attack buttons. So I've come to this thinking, oh, it's square and triangle or xbox equivalent it'd be x and y and nope nope it's r1 and r2 it's it's the right trigger and bumper button it's, yep yep so i'm getting everything mixed up not that it matters there's a sight of grace there we'll rest and then we're going to go poke that thing's toe right Now, where is Grace sending us? Nowhere in particular this time. Hmm. See, pressure that precious item. But first off, battle. The precious item. I know. All your resentment lingers yet. The Vosa from which I shall surely forge. A curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head. Upon Merica's children. Hang on. Upon Merica's children each and all. Oh, that's a shiny skull. That means I can get some stuff from it. Oh, what's happening with these? Who are you? Stab, 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 stab. Trying to remember as well now how to uh Oh I found the button for it. 
So while I've got that active, I can use the ability to reflect spells. But if I put that away... I can then, instead of casting... Uh, Yeah, I can then do that. Use up a fair bit of mana though. Can I reflect? Ow. Not really. Plus it doesn't help when there's multiple of them coming at me. One guy, can I do this? Can I reflect it? Now. It doesn't help that I'm literally... I can't see it because of my own character model. Maybe it doesn't count as like a spell. Spirit Gravestone. Now is it a Spirit Gravestone or is it Spirit Grave Stone? Didn't expect a necessary item. Still no life. If I got something and there's a necessary item here, I didn't get it. Nope. Looks like he got shot, right. Okay. Big ass boss time. point as well. What am I actually wearing at all that equipment wise? So we've got the Blasphemous Blade plus 10, the Erd Tree Great Shield plus 10, Rodan's Red Main Helm, Veteran's Armor, Veteran's Gauntlets, Veteran's Greaves. That gives us, let's see, yeah, loads of physical protection. Um, Where are like, the resistances? Yeah, there they are. Magic, fire, lightning, holy. Uh, they're not bad. We're going enormously boost physical damage negation, greatly boost holy damage negation, vastly boost non-physical damage negation. Right. This guy looks like a fire person to me, so fire damage negation will go away. Right. Uh, things as well here. What have we got? 
Two precious items, but first off battle. Seek necessary item. They're all pointing over here to an item, but... It isn't like on one of the guys hanging from the tree, is it? I don't think so. I was still pressing triangle to swing. Ow! Go away, dog. Uh, what do we have here? First off, go on. It's kind of obvious what it wants you to do, but like hell I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, into there, but then where do we go from there? Uh, problem is as well, it's got a bit of a turn in circles, this thing. And it doesn't immediately stop. Sod it. We're going in. doing much. Swing. 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 Ah. Oh crap. That's twice. Didn't mean to. <laughs> okay let's think about this so there's a necessary item somewhere apparently apparently we'll quickly go and nab our uh, runes back Christ, you are a pain, aren't you? Right, a necessary item, and they point that way. Yet when we go this way, it's not really anything about. I'm guessing 25 isn't going to level me up anymore, is it? That was rude. 
Yeah, we need 212,510. We're a little bit off. We're a little bit off. We, we, we can't quite get a level with that many rooms at the moment. <laughs> Good God. You can kind of tell I took my time with the game. Really, you know, savoured it. So what other summons did I have? Rare Lucaria Soldiers. Oh, we're apparently leaving the area in which these can exist, I guess. Because they're flickering on the left, aren't they? They're flashing. Maybe if I move closer toward... Oh. Let's see. It's odd. Anyway, right. And I'm pressing the sodding wrong buttons again. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that for the first few hours. Again, like I say, it's because I've been playing... The, the last game like this I was playing was Stellar Blade. And in my defence, most games use uh, Square and Triangle, X and Y, as the attack buttons. Like, most games like this do that. You know what? Where is it? Tools, ashes, craft materials, uh, key items, sorceries. Is there not a... Isn't there supposed to be a recent one? supposed to be something where I can see recent, isn't there? So recent recent items, yes. Mark new items. Yes. Do that please, thank you. What did I recently acquire? Fruit, stones, some mushrooms, some resin, blade of mercy, raises attack power after each critical hit. Is it a weapon? Broken Rune, Beast Blood, Black Pyrefly. Container required for crafting heavy, uh, hefty cracked pot items. Um, right. Well, unless this does something. What is it? <laughs> is that something I need? I don't think it's a crafting material. Is it like um, it's like a magic talisman thing or something? Uh, catalyst says, yes. is it that? I don't think it is. No. Haven't the foggiest. But I don't think that's the necessary item, no. Maybe we should just avoid him. What else is there? We can go and explore that. Or we can explore... That big bridge that leads up to whatever they are. That could be a start. I don't fancy doing this jump puzzle. Right. Yeah, I don't fancy prattling around with that. We can just probably 
get there the long way around, I guess. Scorched ruins. I don't think there's anything up this tower, was there? No. Right. Away we go. We shall explore fully the area over here. And I think maybe when they say go to the right, maybe they mean go down the path and to the right. Maybe that's what it means. But I'm gonna go here, kill these gargoyle monsters. Looks like there's a big um, chest here. can just be easily deflected and then just smacked about like no tomorrow okay I'm guessing like this one won't open for example then uh, so it's gonna have to be let's see I mean I'm guessing it can be opened it looks like a big chest yeah well sarcophagus whatever but yeah I guess we can't open it I thought we might be able to oh well It'll still be worth a look around here. It looks like there's going to be something here. What the hell are these supposed to be? Oh, it made the rest angry. Fight the enemies, but don't hit those. Can we roll over those skulls? Yes. Big bird. Shields up. Try critical hits. I did it. Summoning pool is now functional. I think we can respawn here if we need. Okay, in we go. It might not be the boss we were intending to kill, but there might be a boss just through here. Right, I think that will do for now. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. And next time, now that I've remembered all the buttons and we're here and we've completed the first sort of area, we've got off the doormat, uh, we can get stuck in and start with our first boss. Right. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you then.